hello. Hi to everyone out there. Um, yeah, so I wanted to just reach out to everyone who's going to ScareCon this weekend in Lexington, Kentucky, and apologize that I'm not going to be there. I literally, you guys, if you have surgery, please tell your doctor that you're planning on taking a vacation or going to work or just jumping on a plane because I don't think what I did was really th thought through thoroughly. Uh, I um, had surgery two weeks ago and I thought, oh, not a problem. I feel decent. I'm going to be able to go and keep a promise that I made. I made it like four, four or five months ago that I was going to make this. I had no idea. I think I may have had a little idea because I didn't ask my doctor in fear, subconsciously, in fear that he would say, no, don't get on the plane, you shouldn't fly right now. I didn't, I didn't purposely do that. I think I subconsciously did that, but I take ownership of that and I feel so bad for not making it this weekend and coming to meet people that or we're looking forward to meeting me. I feel I'm. I please accept my apology. I feel s terrible for that. Uh, yeah, um, it, it got so bad on the plane that it was the first time for me that a doctor had to be called because uh, the nurses saw that I was shaking and I was constantly cold and then I was constantly hot and sweating and and it wasn't good. And so I met a new doctor. Um, who happens to live and in the same city and uh, is in the same building as my doctor. So he knew the situation and I could open up and tell a complete stranger what I had done two weeks earlier. And he just suggested that I get to an urgent care um, quick that I may have an infection. Uh, I, I don't, but they put me on a different antibiotic so um, hopefully I'll start to heal better. I think that was a setback for me. So uh, the takeaway from this is definitely check with your doctor before you go anywhere after having surgery. The second thing that I wanted to talk about was, okay, so I land and I'm supposed to have a connecting flight to go to um, Cincinnati and then an hour drive to Kentucky, Lexington. I, when I was, in the plane, I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. So uh, the, the flight, attend, uh, flight attendants advocated for me to the gate agent, and the gate agent found a flight that left 50 minutes later, and they only had one seat left, and it was in first class, which is how I flew there. I would have gone coach. I was so... I was in so much pain. I would have done anything. I was thinking of calling my ex-husband and going, can you get one of your buddies' private planes to come pick me up? I thought, I've just got to get home. So I spent the day getting ready and flying all the way to Dallas just for 50 minutes later to turn around and get on another flight to come home. It was two hours and 38 minutes, and it would have been two hours and then work three full days and then get on another two planes and there was no way I was going to be able to do that. Um, on the way home, though, I was thoroughly entertained by that Rocket Man movie about Elton John. I talk about somebody who absolutely needed to get out into all of our psyches and, and entertain us all our lives. The man's a genius, and it really helped me get through that flight. So I suggest that as well. I suggest watching the movie. It was done really well. And I think, I think they were expecting probably more of a following like Queen got with their movie, uh, uh, Rhapsody. Um, kind of blanking on the name right now for some reason. I think it might have something to do with the pain that I'm in. Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, yeah, it, but the Elton John movie Rocket Man was so good, and the actors were so incredible. The lead, the lead was I don't even know who he is, but he was a great actor. He sang so well; it was just thoroughly entertaining. So thank you to the people who made Rocket Man, and thank you to Elton John. You really helped me get through a really tough, um, a tough day. 
I'm swollen everywhere and I just don't feel good at all. So I wanted to make a public um, uh, the PSA um, for flying after surgery. Don't do it. It's the dumbest idea. And I fell victim to that and it's my own fault. So have a wonderful time at this ScareCon. I know it's gonna be a big success and I wish I was there to celebrate it with you, but I am in spirit. So with that, I say goodbye, have a great weekend and thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do so. And I'll see you again later because I'll be making them through the weekend as well. All right, I'm gonna go take some medication and start to feel a little bit better. All right, guys, talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.